Okay, our judges are ready. We're moving on in our on-stage interview place and competition. Please meet and greet at this time. She is currently ready as Miss Gay Ohio. She is contestant number 53. Ladies and gentlemen, on stage interview, please meet and greet. Raise on. Raise on, contestant number 53. Good evening, Raison. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good, too. Yeah. What we'd like you to do now is just take a deep breath and give our judges and our audience a brief biography of yourself. There'll be a question to follow. Okay? Good luck. Good evening, Dallas. I'm contestant number 53. My stage name is Raison. I am the current reign of Ohio. I was born on January 6th to two wonderful parents in a very small town, Utica, Ohio. They had three traffic lights and two females, so there wasn't a lot going on there. And I dreamed of getting out of there and going into the entertainment business. As a small child, I used to sit and watch the Grand Ole Opry with Dolly Parton on it and think, one of these days, I'm going to be there singing with her. Well, I got a little older and I found out I can't carry a in a bucket. And I don't have those good looks and that great body to make it as an actor in Hollywood. So I decided to go into marketing and management of commercial music and I moved to Atlanta, Georgia and began working on that degree. While I was in Atlanta, I went to my first female impersonation show. And as I sat in the audience that night, I knew that I found the avenue to see my dreams become a reality. I've since then moved back to Ohio, and in April of this year, my father passed away, so I've moved back with my mother. And looking back on my life in retrospect so far, it's probably good that I didn't make it in country music, because if I were at the Grand Ole Opry tonight, I'd bring new meaning to the term, the queen of country music. Thank you, Donna. Thank you very much. If you choose an envelope, please. This is your question. I'll read it twice for you, and then you'll have an opportunity to respond. Many of us believe the old adage, what goes around comes around, or we believe in karma. What are your thoughts on this? Your question again. Many of us believe in the old adage, what goes around comes around or we believe in karma. What are your thoughts on this? Good luck. I don't exactly know that I believe in what goes around and comes around. I don't exactly believe in karma. I do have a great faith in God above, and I believe that he gives us many gifts. And our subconscious is our little voice when God is trying to tell us something. And nine times out of 10, if you listen to that little voice, you're not gonna go wrong because God's always on our side. We just need to get in tune to him and he's going to give us the karma we need. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and judges, an on-stage interview phase of competition, give a round of applause. This is Grace Thank you very much. We're going to do an on-stage interview. Oh my God, what has she done up here? Okay. Here it's down. Please welcome to the stage. She hails from Louisiana. Her name is Ms. Ramona Leger. Oh, you look beautiful, Ramona. How you doing? Fabulous, you look fabulous. Okay, what we want you to do is take, take a deep breath, relax, give our lovely panel judges a brief hour of yourself. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am contestant number three, Ramona Lachey. And my given name is Louis Marcello. And I'm a 30-year-old resident of Independence, Louisiana, where I live with my life mate of eight years, Mr. Rick Martinez. I'm a self-employed cosmetologist, and I have been one for 13 years. Seven years ago, Louis decided to give out athletic supporters and pumping iron for eating gowns and wearing pumps. And you guessed it, Lewis was hooked and the illusion of Ramon Lachey was created and I have enjoyed the professional art of female impersonation ever since. As far as future goals, I have many. But the one that is facing me most immediately is to win the coveted title of Miss Gay America, which will enable me to utilize my abilities as a professional entertainer and a professional administrator to first and foremost promote Norma Christie Incorporated, this fabulous celebration in the art form of female impersonation, 
and to be a positive role model and spokesperson for our community, whether as Louis Marcello or in the solution that I call Ramona Lachey. Thank you. Special question for you. 
the color of the wicked question to each box, and then you can give us your answer. Although we all may not be religious, we all believe in a higher power other than ourselves. How does that higher power affect your life? Let me read it again. Although we all may not be religious, we all believe in a higher power, higher power other than ourselves. How does that higher power Please forgive me, how it affects your life. Well, first of all, I come from a very religious background. I used to sing for Jimmy Swagger, believe it or not. But I do believe that there is someone up there that is helping me here tonight because without him, I would not be here. And without the help of many friends, we all would not be here. I would also like to take the opportunity to say thank you, God for allowing me to express myself through the art of female impersonation because there is a place for us someday, somewhere. Thank you. If you would please welcome to the stage. She's our next contestant for the on-stage interview portion of our town of both. Please welcome to the stage contestant number 16. Let's hear for Miss Dieta Pepsi. Miss Gay America going in my head. So, 
if you do not believe in yourself, you cannot exude confidence so that others cannot believe in you. Because I also live by this one attitude. You're going to believe it, achieve it, and just do it. Thank you. Carrie Nichols, 
My given name is Jeff Cable, and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a 26-year-old Libra, and I've been in Charlotte for approximately about seven years. I moved from a very small, small town in North Carolina and moved to Charlotte to go to college. I went to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, where I received a Bachelor of Arts in Human Services, and then went on to receive a Master's in Counseling. I, it was while I was in Charlotte that I came across female impersonation, and that was about, not like it's six years ago, and so I've been um, doing female impersonation ever since I jumped right in. This is my fifth year here um, at Miss Gay America, and it's my second time as a finalist, and I, I made top ten last year, and here I am again, and I'm very, very excited about that. But one thing I want to say to you all, it means a lot to me, I want to thank you, the people who have been here all week, because you have truly made me feel like a winner, regardless of what happens to me this evening. You, the people of Dallas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. Oh, there's only three more left. Okay, that's a penalty. Thank God I got it in the class on this evening. Oh, wait, wait, wait now. <laughs> oh, I'll get in trouble for doing it different. You have been chosen to address Congress as Miss Gay America on what gay people can do for this country. What would your measure, message to our representatives be? You have been chosen to address Congress as Miss Gay America on what gay people can do for this country. What would your mes message to our representatives be? Thank you, Valerie. My message would be very simple. It would be very simple indeed. My message would be simply to open your mind and look. Because we do a lot for this community and this society, the entire world. The gay community in this world do a great many things for the entire society, ladies and gentlemen. So all they need to do is open their eyes and they will simply see it because it's already there for them to see it. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.